Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Weekly Weekend. I'm Cal. I'm Sunny. And we have with us Mark and Mark Connor. And Connor. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The uh, two I like the delay. The two most excited people in the world. <laughs> well, we, we we do have beers in front of us, we, so that that really goes a long way. We, we've got our beers. We've got our drinks, as I say it. No, no, I've got. got is this rum? You got my It's bourbon. 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 Ah. Also, try not to... Sorry, sorry, sorry. My fault. The, the mic. How the dare mic. you? All right. So, Lance is just sitting here like, get on with it. Yes, of course. A quick mm. paint considering how slow I am from a Game of Thrones box set conscripts would make a great low-level PC or even a thief. Mm. Yeah, no. So, I think... A thief. Uh, Mark was talking about this earlier and he's like... Uh, what did you say? Captain Identity Crisis? Captain Identity <laughs> Crisis, that's correct. <laughs> yes. Because, uh, cause, like, he's looking at the, like, the posings just a little strange, which has nothing to do with you. It's just the miniature. Um, but, so, Lance has got a goal of doing up 100 minis by the end of the year. And this is, like, uh, I think 80... One or something? Do you think he said 81. About which number this is? Um, it's pretty much, good. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty so, good. Um, also, also, I think uh, he's uh, he's doing a lot better than I would be with my painting after somebody drilled into my brain. Um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's had a major surgery recently. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's doing very well for the type of surgery that he's got but let's uh so here's what we do guys what we do is we say what somebody's done well and where they need to improve so mm, mm, mm. i think lance has added texture to the base but he hasn't added these usual flowers and stuff yeah i think he might still be getting to that well it's he said that it's a is it finished yeah he's oh Okay, then yes, I think I would say he hasn't mm. added his usual flourishings on the base. Yes, yeah, but I think like adding texture is good. Um, I like the way that the leather's done up. I think that this Cat O' Nine Tails, which I believe we're, we're not 100% on whether it's a Cat O' Nine Tails or not, are we? What, what is a Cat of Nine Tails? It's a kind of whip. Mm. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yes. Is, is there a whip? A cat of nine tails. It was huh? not used for nice things. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. It is. But, so, tell us what you think, guys. What has he done well, and where could he improve? I like the overall model in general. I mostly like his leather and that type of stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's because of this angle or not. But on the edge of the blade, maybe a little bit, maybe still a little bit lighter than that. Okay. Um, yeah. Or maybe just add some, you know, blood for the blood god or something. Give it some character. All right. What, are, what about you, Mark? What do you reckon? Uh, I think overall it's a great, great use of color. Oh, um, yeah. I would agree with that. Definitely goes well with the green and the brown. Um, any improvement I could make is, yeah, just maybe a bit more texture to the base. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that I'd mostly agree with Mark. And, like, uh, everybody's going for different things, so I do believe Lance is going for tabletop. Um, for me, I think maybe... Because that is an amazing forehead right there. Fantastic. <laughs> he's so, like, angry beyond... beyond maybe, I, I, think, I think he's trying to hide just how badly his hairline's received. <laughs> maybe he um, needs a third eye. Well, no, but anyway, I was thinking that perhaps um, just a, a bit of highlight there. But other than that, I think it looks good. So let us move on. We're up to the next thing. And the next thing is Alan. Ooh, ooh Alan is one of our competition level painters. Oh. And, so uh, he's, he's going for like very showcase level. So what I will do is I will open this up in a new thing and I'll show you at the back and then he'll... We'll go through the stages. So this is how it actually looks, which is ridiculous. Um, and then we'll sort of go through stages because it's all about the works in progress here. Um, 
But yeah, so it seems like he does what I do and what most painters do as far as I know, which is work inside out. You start with like the most interior area and then work your way out. And then it seems like, yeah, he blocks things in and then adds highlights. I wonder how he's done the shading for the muscles. Do you think it's manual? Do you think it's like a bit of contrast paint going I on? I think it's all manual. Mm. And I think it's ridiculous. Like that, like that skill is... Oh, like, also, he's like... Whoa! Yeah, he's like, I'm not happy Sorry, with... That's good. Yeah, he's like, I'm not happy with my non-metallic metal. He's like, shut and, up. <laughs> shut up, Mart. Like, yes. I mean, check that out. I love the scratchings on the sword. Sword, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, no. That's definitely fantastic. far better than I could do with the uh, sword. I really need to take lessons on how to do uh, swords. But I think one of the big things is is uh, when it comes to actual uh, non-metallic metals, I think you've got more control. But it might also be because that room's hot as heck. Um, for the moment because you have to yeah because we're printing in there yeah and it's the winter time the winter but i noticed that you two have gone silent upon seeing this this model this well i think it is fantabulous i honestly can't really pick a fault in it to be yeah. very very honest with Look, you no, i think I mean, the correct, metallic correct me if i'm wrong that timber actually looks real Oh, he probably used it from the garden. Yeah, like cotton yeah. a stick or something. And that, I think that's just fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I know that um, one of our other members, uh, Stephen. Stephen, right? Like, that's how I say it. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he uses bark from his uh, from his garden, like the tree, and it'll make really nice rocks, mm. realistic rocks for his basing. And I was like, wow. And trees. And trees. But yeah, so I think. Um, Okay, so I see what he's getting with um, with the base, but I think just a single tuft. But I know that for some competitions, they really don't like plants for some reason. I don't know why. Um, mm. That's weird. Yes. I, I didn't say it's not weird. Why is there the hatred of the greenery? Um, mostly because it's not skill-based or something. I and I think maybe it uh. distracts from the... Uh... Well, distract from time. his awesome we toes. Like we saw the thing from the feedback from Raging Heroes, and is mm -hmm. you know you, you can't control, so don't do that. It is wrong. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think that the muscle work is really good. Um, the only thing that I would say is not as great is the contrast. So like, I really, really like that blade. In fact, I really like the pretty much all of it, but that's the only thing that I could say. You um, think it's blending in a bit too much with his uh, uniform? Is that it? Well, no, because like there's there's not a whole lot of darks and lights, which is what I think you'd want with like a whole lot of um, solid one color sort of thing. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I uh, like, he's definitely going for that very retro look, eh? Like it does cool. look like something from a. Well, it looks like well, He-Man. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 I was he -Man. very angry. I was gonna say it looks like modern day Conan. Mm. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it does a bit. It does. All right, so uh, we'll go through, and uh, I'm gonna put people on the spot because that's what I do. All right, Mark, what do you reckon? Um, I, the, being a novice painter myself, I can't pick this to pieces it's it's a fantastic piece so well okay so yeah. just just tell him what you think might look um like you'd you'd like to see it because the thing is that one of the things that we can do as people who you know aren't as great painters is we can do the emperor has no clothes thing right you you point out the blatantly obvious and uh I guess the only thing is he looks too clean. Maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I think you might be right. Like, maybe dust up his boots and uh, stuff. Uh, just a tad bit more, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I know there is a bit of dusting there, but maybe not enough. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm, All right, so, okay. Connor, what are, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm pretty sure that's a gemstone up the top of his sword there. I, I think it's... I think a, it's just metal. Oh, He's just metal. He's just done it metal. Um, it... Are you sure? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I, I yeah. thought it was a gemstone, so I was going to say maybe a different shade. But if it's just metal, but that mm. might be that might be a good point. You know, like that's that's well, an area where you could have made it different. I was just thinking like you could add some red to it or something there. Because, oh, definitely. Like, I, I just a different uh, color. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to dirty that blade with blood of the blood god, like I was saying earlier, <laughs> because I think you've done really clean work there yeah it's amazing yeah um mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want you to cover up any of your actual work there but i i the only thing i could say is maybe add a little bit of different color to him but like i think it also makes his hair really pop because like it's the most so, different color there yeah i think his hair and his skin really pop so yeah. sunny what do you what do you think I honestly can't see the the contrast thing that you've mentioned because so, I can I, I'm trying to take a look at it from the competition painter's perspective right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know he's probably going for like quote unquote historically accurate no no because this is an infinity model this is from a game where it's near future that's why he's a sort of army looking guy with big big knife and uh, a claymore, <laughs> you know, it's like because that is that is not historical. Well, actually, no. There was there was some Scottish guy who went around in World War Two with a claymore attacking the uh, well, the nasties. The uh, uh, nasties. The nasties. Yes, nasties. Because we're not allowed no, to say the but, other but, word. But, but, I mean, in the sense that he looks very much like a movie character. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. saying yeah. like was, historic. This, this whole time sense. I've been trying not to say Highlander. He looks <laughs> like a Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So let us move on. Oh, right. So I think Mark's right. I do think he looks a bit too clean. Um, I think maybe, you know, adding that dusting like Brushstrokes does. Um, around to sort of the ankle um, that would look good um, a fading dusting and like so when I'm talking about the contrast so like here mm -hmm. is almost the same values as over here I know I that see. it's darker right but when you take a take a look at it all see it's all it's all almost you know one thing and Very then like uniform, yeah, I get and, what saying. and like yes it is literally a uniform but I mean, like, because th that's sort of where he's going for. So that's mm, sort mm, of mm, we, mm, where mm. we want to point our critique. Like, we wouldn't critique Alan like we would Lance. Mm. No. All right. So, speaking of, Lance got uh, this lady uh, finished up. And he did some adjustments to her collar. Yep. yep. So here we go. You want to read out? Honey? Thank you for the feedback. I brightened the collar with a brighter yellow. And while at it, a yellow tip for to the tiny feather on the stump. Also, add a copper into the hair. I took a picture of my photo setup a while back. I started using uh, old CD discs to reflect light oh. and get fewer shadows. Yeah, well, you've scrolled to the point where I Oh, can't sorry. Read. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Let's see. Don't want light? Uh, hope it helps those that don't want a light box because of space. Why take so much time painting and share pictures that we can't see all of a great work? Exactly. Agree. Exactly. Agree. All right. So uh, let's let's go and take a look at what Lance is doing. Lancey boy, he's got himself a purple lady. Uh, Calidos does not support this comment. <laughs> well, first off, right off the bat, after seeing this angle. I like the choice of the green pouch. It really contrasts with the purple. Mm -hmm. And it also ties in nicely with the green grass. So it looks like all one cohesive uh, thing. Also, you don't see any of that mess back there. But I, I think like that's fine. Having some sort of background and having that distinctive plate there... That's the big thing. You that know. is quite clever that he used CDs to reflect well, light. I've got I've got no idea whether it's worked or not. And like I'm not enough of an alchemist to be able to tell him. About I think it. it won't be as bright as using a proper lamp. Yeah, but, but I mean like it, 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 works. it works. I mean like you, you take a look at this, you can see exactly and like these are good close ups. 
Mm. These are very good close-ups. Yeah. All right. So, um, do you guys want to give your thoughts? Mm. He's going for tabletop. Yeah. Yes. I very much like the dress overall, and I suppose that's uh, her either purse slash sash that's running across her there. Yep. I very much like those. I think the colour's done well there. And I like that on the dress there's, you know, clearly lighter purples as well as, like, almost into whites at points there mm-hmm. at the ends. Mm-hmm. That's the thing I like. What about you, Mark? What do you see in this? I like the use of the live grass. It the use good. of a lot of grass. The life. Live grass. Yeah. It looks really oh, good. do you think it's live grass? No, it's not live grass. It's not proper grass? It's, it's, By it's that, static it's, grass. That's it's static real. grass. Yeah, but that's I think he's real. got an actual static machine to make it... Make it know, go that's up. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, I suppose you're right on that. I suppose you're right on that. I think he could benefit from doing a bit of a black rimming on the base. But uh, other than that, I think it looks a lot better. Because uh, the previous one that he did, uh, the bracelets and the necklace were like more of a yellow gold that he was going for. But it blended a bit too much into her skin. So then he decided he would brighten it up a bit. Yeah. Mm. But other than that, I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks, looks really good. Yeah, a very good color cohesion. Any other things that you think he could improve on? Um, I wouldn't really critique this as an improvement, but um, I wouldn't say that the color of the the neck area there is a bit still a little bit bright for the photo. Um, In the photo, sorry. I don't think it's come out as much, and I don't think you guys were there. In fact, you guys weren't there um, after the uh, original review, but it does look considerably different to mine, I don't think. Um, I would say that the staff, perhaps, the staff could be darker, maybe. Look, I, I think as far as improvements go, like, here's the thing, but when it comes to this sort of thing, if you're trying to improve a tabletop, like, I think that's fine because you've got to sort of have a nice balance between... Um, Speed and looking good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. And like... I can't really pick anything for this to improve. Can I don't know how long it took to do this, but I think it's good for a tabletop result, absolutely. Yeah, well... Like, everything... I can identify everything on the model. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point to bring out. That's what you want for tabletop, isn't it? Like, that's... That's a good example of uh, what makes a good tabletop miniature, isn't it? Yes. Like, you can identify everything. Uh, Shall we move on to the next one? Sure thing, sure thing. So, uh... I think you here, right? I think you have Oi get out of here. I can do the thingies. So, yeah, we not to be trusted. That's as we get to Lady Williams as well. <laughs> Anyhow, making progress with these guys. Whoop! Still needs uh, correction, highlights, etc., etc., but I am getting there. So, yes. this is not a finished product, but just let us know what you think, guys. Uh, are these Space, space Wolves? wolves? Yes. yes, correct. Um, no. I don't know what uh, bluey gray you wish to end up with for the Space Wolves. And the- is, is, it, is it the uh, open and new tab? I walk away for a second to give our guests more food. I just want him to be able to see the thing close up. Also, we are uh, we are having. Is this, this is gyoza, and we had dumplings, and we're going to have pizza later, aren't we? Uh, do you think well, this is a bit more helpful, kind yeah, of boy? Much more helpful. Oh, it's he man. Yeah, yeah, I know. I saw him right <laughs> off the bat. It's he man. Oh, it seems like their blue is. As far as I know, the the bluey grey of the Space Wolves 
this would be a little bit brighter than they atypically are. But there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Everyone's got their takes on things. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Personally, I don't like the traditional muted color of the space wolves. I much I prefer. I, I prefer think, something like this. I think you're thinking of like the the like uh, heresy space wolves, which are like very great. Oh my god, it's just like a dough. I, I probably am thinking of the heresy era ones. Yeah, because that's all the artwork that's in my head when I look at space wolves. What, what about you, Mark? What, how do you reckon uh, Laney's doing? Doing pretty well. Um, colors are good. Mm-hmm. I guess the only thing I can critique is sort of just notice that the shoulder pads have sort of the paint has encroached over the the blue. Yeah, she did. She did say that she needed some correction, but I mean, but like, it's, um, apart from that, great use of color. So. Yep, yep. Uh, from what I remember seeing of her previous post when she did a test model to try and figure out the color she wanted of the Space Marine, he they eventually end up a bit more on the gray side. So I think she's doing something like uh, undercoat. Is that what? How do you say it? Base Under- coat. Base coat and then like sort of work the colors up. I think that's what she's trying to do so far. But uh, I would say at this point, the only thing that looks a little bit more finished at this step is the bone. And I think she could do a bit more of a dry brush to brighten the bone. Yeah, or just, stuff. just touch it up, touch it up. But I mean, it is a work in progress. progress. That's mm-hmm. right. So, let us move on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but this has actually done pretty well. I think we got like a couple thousand views on this one. We had 3K views the uh, last I saw. I'm just going to say clapping rather than clap into the mic. Oh, yes, so that the, the mic <laughs> doesn't get destroyed. Yes, or so that the people at home don't you get know, destroyed, yes. yes. Ears bleeding, whatnot. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, no, and uh, thanks, Cal, for uh, sharing this. That was That was helpful. And uh, thank you everybody who watched it and thumbs it up and all the usual jazz. And giving us the support and helping us grow the channel. Yes. Yes. Uh, soon, soon we're going to uh, manage to get to the Americas and we'll really work on that channel. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, yes, it's Cal. Oh, it is Cal. Yes, what's Hello. from Dungeons and Lasers. Now, I've already commented on this. Yes. But yeah. Cal is uh, another one of our uh, tab- uh, very popular tabletop painters in our group. And he's a big fan by, of using by contract. Popular. By popular, she means prolific. <laughs> he, he, he just makes an, uh, a swear word lot of stuff. So for, for, for what we know is that he is very into using contrast paints for his work. And I mentioned that this for this particular model the contrast paints really worked for it because it's insects yeah i do i do think he needs a better photo setup though it doesn't matter it's clear enough for us to see is it, is it clear enough for, for you guys to see yeah i love the fading that he's done <laughs> From the orange to the green underbelly, and it, you can see the very nice shine that you get from the effect of a, of a like an exoskeleton. It's very well done. I think uh, that's just the natural sheen of well, the contrast. Though. I mm. like that these ones seem like they have a. Just take it off. They have an almost. <laughs> if it, if their purple wasn't as purple as it was. Okay. Um. I could mistake this for a real insect, you know, mm. um, because I have seen these colorations before amongst insects, like, by, like with the wings. By purple is purple. I think we'll translate that into painter. I think he, what he's saying is that the saturation is uh, very high, and if it was like a, a desaturated mm. um, purple, like closer to a lavender, mm. that would be more... Uh, on it so uh mark i'm gonna put you on the spot up you stuffed all of that in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> no, they look very lifelike which is good so, for, yeah. for a tabletop mini mm. i think it's fantastic job would you say this is one of his best yeah. tabletop mini paintings i think that the model lends itself well to his style 
Yes, yes, yes. I would agree with you on that. But you know, you know, like Cal, if we're gonna if we're gonna keep having guests over to uh, comment on your stuff, you're gonna need to give us background so that we can, you know, see the things. Could I? Could I just add one more? No. One more comment. Oh, all right. What's the comment? If if you are willing, Cal, if you are willing, I think something that would really spice it and add it over the top. Is if you used like one of those uh, color shifting uh, paints and just put oh, it on the wings, just in, a spray in, over spray of the iridescent iridescent it, tone. Insects are known for that sort of thing. Yeah, I like, just a light spray over the outer outer one. Doesn't have to be on the inner inner side. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it will be it will be fantastic. If I could just find the one that we have the SMS paint. Oh, on. and and finally now uh, it's, it's oh, your yes. turn. Comment to... comment on me, people. Comment. So, so so this is this is us. So the the lady with the thing is the thing, and now the lady, the lady with, with, the with the thing, thing is, is the thing. thing. Look, look, just just read read the words, and I'm gonna leave Sunny to do things because I'm gonna put pizzas in the oven. <laughs> so I don't hear myself be criticized. <laughs> he says this as he runs away. Anyhow, it's Whip Sunday, but we did this on Friday. We are not busy people at all. And I have picked up a brush in a thousand years. Gosh. We has made the progress. Harry has started on the fancy lady. I think his choice of color is good for her vibes. And I have started on the old baldy here, which is one of her two love interests. Or was it three? Uh, I do have raging here. Uh, I do love raging heroes models, but they are so detailed it's intimidating. I've started with baldy's face. I find her... I have a strong interest in doing skin. Uh, CNC is critique and comment. Highly welcome. Uh, what do you guys think of what we have done so far? And Alan O'Brien is another one of our competition level painters. And he shared a tip previously. So I said, I tried to do your eye tutorial this time. But I forgot your advice was to start with eyes first and then skin for it to work. But I had already started with skin. So I had to go with my usual method. Oh, and I'm also aiming for character level. So let us take a look at this video. Wait, am I supposed to click here? Yes, I'm supposed to click here. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a look at video. I think it doesn't really show it off as well as I'd like. Mm. But uh, I could literally bring you the model because it's in the other room if you want to have a proper look at it. it Is he smoking? No, he's. that's just the beard. Oh. It's a beard. Let's take a look at the other pictures here. No, oh, yes, it is just so his beard. This is the face front. He, he, he seems like a man who should have a cigar in his mouth. That's so. probably true. Just go boop like mm. that. Well, that's the side view in his mm. face. Well, uh, here's where I have to make the smart Alec comments. Oh me. yes. Uh, I think that maybe. Yeah. We should paint more of the rest of the model. Yes, bro. <laughs> Today is the meant to be painting day. I was just going to ask, what's the rest of the colour scheme going to look like? Oh, I think I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> yes, this is a quite good, good idea, Mark. Is, is everyone finished criticising No, they're yes. still criticising me, okay? Well, uh, Henry's going to go for green and red for the uh, So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave... Uh, hold up. I might go for like a maroon coat, a nice maroon, deep maroon coat. So those, those are actually painted. The um, oh, the frills. Gray. Yeah. So we've gone a silvery red. Oh, yeah, so uh, it's like a white frills with the white red. frills with the uh, sort of maroon. What a maroon! It's maroon, honey, not maroon. Yeah. At least you didn't go blue. Hmm. I think if you use like an ultramarine blue. <laughs> an ultramarine blue blouse. Yes, but not the ultramarine space marines blue. But that's actually a cobalt blue. Yeah, no, it's, that's the that's the funny thing. Ultramarines aren't even ultramarine blue. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They're closer to your shirt colour right now. Yes. Well, uh -huh. we're on the enemy's colours today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, that uh, you, you're going to have to explain that one, Mark. Um, the, <laughs> so it's a bit of a corn berserker over here. <laughs> yeah. So in, in um in Australia, there's a football thing called State of Origin, and uh, so we're uh, Queenslander. Uh, well, I around. will be I will be back since we have the models in the other room. What? Yeah. No, don't you don't get the models. They've got to look on the screen like everyone else does. You 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 are a cheater. It's Stop not cheating. cheating. It is cheating. How is it cheating sit, if sit. I'm asking for IRL advice? Sit down, son. Because we can do the IRL advice at any time. Yes, we can. Where, oh, where is okay. this? This. Let's has... move on to Mr. Oh, Joe it's... because oh. I cannot criticize my siblings and sleep safely at night. Uh, yeah, 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 so I'm a little bit biting and bobbing, is it? Bobbing with my 30k army, 40k Talon Desert, Desert Raider Dream Army from my youth. Youth. All and all manner of small games from Warcry to much costly prices. Much costly, much costly, costly prices. prices. Mark looks at us like we, we've, we've just lost our mind. Yeah, so the, 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 the little inside joke that we do is every time someone uses an acronym and nobody knows what the acronym stands so we, for. We make it up. We make so, it up. So, like, even if it's, even if it's like, um, even if it's something common, like non-metallic metals, uh, Sunny will just go, and then there's some, num, num, num. So, so num. MCP num. could be my side of potions. Oh, my side of potion, or, or considering what we're, we're drinking some. Yeah, no, that, you, like you know what? Just have like one of those little horses, the the, the little pony horses on, on a beer. My side of potions, <laughs> but like that's that's got to be the guy from the ad. My side of potions. <laughs> Friendship's magic, mate. <laughs> But uh, to so, be fair, I have no idea what MCP is this in case. I don't think it's Marvel Crisis Protocol. I think it's a different... Concept. No, it is, man. Is so, it? Okay. So I'm guessing 30K was around before 40K? Yes. Uh, so 30, 30K is Horus Heresy. Heresy All right. Okay. So I don't care if it was Space Marines, but I have an idea, and it's gotten a little out of hand. Iron Hands, Fury of the Ancients, uh, to be accurate. So I started building a large orc done some sizing up and so like he's cast that exact head and like there's I, I asked him how he did it and like that's on my watch list of things to get to but yeah he made he essentially made these orcs bigger nice that's by, cool by casting them um with like actual casting nice. um, yeah and yeah I, I reckon I reckon like this project is really exciting for me. I reckon it's really cool. I reckon along. he's a boss and he needs e, e, needs e, some e, of the boys. It yeah. reminds me some of the boys to old Calvin E P to to go yes, that, Calvin E P has insane. disappeared. To to go around and uh, have a little bit of a wah. A wah. A wah. A, wah. a little bit of wah. So I, what I, is I, like, that? I like his little snotling friend. Well, so that's actually friend. just a normal orc. It's a normal. Is it? That's it a looks like a gobbery. Yeah, that's so a, it looks like a gobbery. Yeah, 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 I know, like I know, because, because of the size action. of this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did say it got a bit out of hand, but I reckon it looks good. You know, this is still a work in progress. I think we see this finished up a little later on. I think I'm sorry. Oh wow, Joe. that's him next to some tanks. Ooh, Joe, I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Look, look at the size yeah. of that. Oh yeah, yeah so he's, 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 a, he's a Gazgul looking guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's the size of the beast. The beast. He did <gasps> look. Look, oh. Brushstroke didn't didn't say anything. He didn't say anything here. Uh, <laughs> he's meant to say something to us, but no, he just shared. <laughs> New paint well, guide well, video, a full step by step guide. So, um, so Brushstrokes is one of uh, our other high level painters here, and he uh, has showed all the works in progress of this up to this point. And we encourage people who are you know actually you know, showing their works in progress to share their videos or whatever, mm -hmm. just so long as they participate. And, uh, yes, 
me and Sonny may have uh, started a trend. Mm. I said, did you see that some cheeky bugger said smooth butts on your YouTube <laughs> about your painting? <laughs> I think you're in danger of being called SB Brushstrokes on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Alright, so next up we've got Alan. Why is Alan the competition painter? So do you do you want to this is a different Alan? No, Alan. there are two Alans. Alan. No, Alan. yes. Yes, Mark. Hey. You were about to say something. I said Steve. Steve. But it's not <laughs> Steve, it's Alan. It's yeah. Alan. It's Alan O'Brien. Okay. O'Brien. O'Brien. Well, uh, well, what was the Star Trek guy? Yeah, it's O'Brien. Yeah. No, but just O'Brien was his first name. Uh, um, Miles Sean. O'Brien. Miles, Miles O'Brien. Yeah, he, he's he's got to be like very stereotypical. Like his his wife is like the doctor's sat- the only one who calls him Miles. Yeah, but like his wife is like sat- not Satoshi. What is it? His wife. You know, uh, it's very Japanese. I know, I know, but I should... Yes, Japanese. we should probably just read it. Yes, now that I have my office redone so I can have my airbrush set up permanently, I'm trying to learn how I can incorporate it into my painting. It feels like a long road ahead after doing some Xenothal priming today. I decided to see what would happen with some rough underpainting done with a brush and then painting over with the airbrush. Definitely don't have finesse control like with the brush, Probably need to thin the flesh tone with the medium for the next trial to see more of the underpainting come through. So we'll just we'll just bring this up and obviously work in progress, experiment, that sort of thing. And so I was talking to him about it and the only thing that I said with him, right, is that uh, when it comes to airbrushing, you think you've thinned it too much. And when you think you've thinned it too much, that's about right. Mark's got a dirty big smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think he's kind of lost quite a fair bit of his um, hard work with the undertoning. Right? No, I think it. I think it's blended I in think pretty it's well. Think pop, so? I think it's gonna pop once it's done. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it's good. But yeah. like, I was more talking. So when I was talking to him, I was talking about the zenithal sort of thing, right? And I think like the undershadowing to the. Um, to using the the prime on it right sorry not the prime the airbrush on it i think that that came up well but the only reason i talk about it is because of like the the coat and all of that and like how you see like it's a bit gritty there Mm, and yeah i see that and yeah like that was the only thing i was talking about with him but i think it's gonna i think it's gonna turn out well but we have no idea as of yet um so Panel. What what what, what did the judges thoughts? think? What are your thoughts? Hmm. Well, I can definitely see that he's going for the the left side of the face to be the highlighted side. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once once the shading's right, I think it'll look really really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say the same. And like, I'm liking how. The shades are all working with the eyes and that stuff so far. Yeah. Like, I, I like, I like painting of busts. I think it lets people show off their painting a lot more. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's you know, just when, a little bit bigger. When um, when you said the left side, I'm like, oh no, he's actually talking about the model's left side. Mm. And I'm like, oh yo. Um, I would. I never got to say anything. Yes, that's because you're not important. Mm. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm the only lady in the group. Yes, the well, you, you, you can you can get the other ladies, and then we won't get a word in. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of really. I'm a bit biased to the underpainting. Honestly, yeah. I think because the underpainting looks a lot more like defined as compared to the airbrushing. It it looks like almost comic booky. Yes, it is looking yeah. very. Comic- comic booky i just thought he would be blending things out but i just really love looking at how it is right now but uh i i honestly can't see it come through very well with the with the airbrush not that the airbrush looks bad it's nice but like i just i guess i just really like how it mm-hmm. looked before the airbrush <laughs> but yes let us move on 
Oh, uh, this, oh yes, this, yes. This, this. So here we here we go. I, I will I will play the thing. So uh, uh, here we go. Here, here we go. Uh, Henry <laughs> obsessed with his shit. Oh, yeah. oh hey, yeah. sorry, sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Do not. Okay, are we gonna play it? Yes. Now we are after you. Oh, what? Was no, this a stop. new community oh, chat? What, what has happened? Somebody tried to message you, honey. Uh, I, I, well, it, it, that's the end, everybody. Everything's gone wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> now we have to go all the way down. Oh, and and yeah, I've got to reset. Like, that's that's my fault. I got excited, people. I got excited. Yes, he's very excited about that particular video. I, I liked the video. I was, I was upset uh, that I couldn't post it up. Oh, you couldn't post it on Wayfair? No, remember because of the... Oh, nonsense. the other issue. Yeah, the other issue. All right, so here we go. I'll go like that, and then we'll go over here and we'll get the things and do the stuff. The stuff and the All things. All right, so here we go. Are you going to bring up the controls first? Oh, hey, hey. Yes, I can. Yes, honey. And who are you? I am a god. You know, I realize... In the world is God. Yeah. But I realized that the audio, our audio input might be muted, so like they might just be looking at us like going. Woo. So all right, guys. Um, you know. What what do you think? I think it's a horrible sea monster. <laughs> I would say I do think this is a fantastic paint job, honey. I just honey, honey. What? Let them speak. They they they're the ones who are meant fine, to fine, fine. say terrible things about me yeah. and call me names. That's why we bring them here. <laughs> okay, brother, do the thing. No, no, not brother. Mark, Mark is the the least related and the most uh, able okay. to rip. All right, you go through them while I check on food. Uh, mm. You should stay here and I'm listen going, to I'm your just going critique. Over there. I'm going over there. That's the excuses I make. On a regular basis, so I know what it sounds like. All right, Mark, let's let's, let's hear, hear it. it. Let's hear it, Mark. <laughs> no, it's 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 a very very good piece. Hey, no, don't do, don't say that. You got to tell us it your is. your detailed analysis you, you of gotta, you this particular me, model. I I would like to see a, a little bit more shading. Mm -hmm. It looks very very. One, or not, I would say one, one, one color. Well, you've got to keep going through them, honey, so you can see the shading at the back. Okay, is that was that the shading well, at the back no, you we, wanted? Oh, you all, you all. I like the anchor. It's it's, it's a anchor nice anchor. Yes, the, the, the some of the the, 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 the the yellow hairy stuff at the top there could be coral. A the bit, coral. Could be coral. A, <laughs> 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 Could be a little bit more. Um, Golden. Sort of dulled down in colour where it gets to the end. Oh, see, they dis see this. disagreement. I think it could be more actual golden. Golden coral, yeah. everybody. Ch chuck it in. Chuck it in. He's formed from the water. Mm, yes. But it's great to see all the little tiny nooks and crevices that are in the in the yeah. model. It, that that's come up really really mm. well. Ah. All right, so I uh, never what? got to share my thoughts. All right, woman. I gotta try and stay in Henry's good books, otherwise he won't paint my stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. Okay, I know that you had actually uh, communicated with the client about, you know, some of the issues with painting literal water in a sculpture format, right? Mm -hmm. So it, the light, the way that it reflects water, reflects light and everything, it's going to be very all over the place and difficult to uh, get like right, it's correct? It's not bourbon, it's a whiskey, you liar. Okay, we will be oh, no, no, sorry, to sorry, the next sorry, one I now. Saw that, I just saw that my brother was yeah, alive. Move on. Yeah, all right, we're moving on. Stefan Mark Williams, I know I'm a little late and early for whip. But I'm. I've promised that I'll get back to working on my frogs. Hey, it's been too long, my dude. The frogs were, were like, 
Two months ago. Where is I want to see it you, now. You know, honey, I think so, you're mixing up two months and like two weeks. Honey. It's, it's good to see that uh, that Stephen's finally migrated from his rats and now he's gone to frogs. Oh, ah. I see, like, frogs eat rats. Rats? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, okay. they, they eat everything. I'm so in love with my new paint rack. Uh-oh. He's in love with his new paint rack. I'll, I'll be disappointed, Stephen, if I don't see a cover. I don't see a cover. Let me do it for Are you. Curry. 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 Okay, red frogs. Yeah. Okay. Ninja turtle. Poisonous. Ah, oh, these ones look more like. Oh, you know, I, I, when I saw this guy, I just thought nerds. No, but nerds. It's, it is. He specifically made that. Yeah, I know. Like nerds. I, I know. Uh, nerds are a candy here in Australia. Okay. Uh, yes. I yeah. thought. They're I not, thought it's. They're not people where people go cross-eyed and beat and them they usually up. Usually, come in two flavors. Two colors and two flavors. But yeah. I, we, we grew up on nerds in Singapore. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's a very popular snack. Uh, well, candy. But oh, I love those guys. The Aztec ones are very fun. Well, they're all Aztec ones, as far as I know. Oh, but really? I think like they've each got different roles. So, let's take a look. So you need a background, Steve. Steven! Steven! Steven. Put a backdrop, Steven. Yes, so that we're not seeing Pike. quick shade. <laughs> um, but I think it's done really well with the lips. I like the lips. Um, I think the eyes are good. Um, but I think like that tiny bit of spillover needs to be cleaned up a bit. Um, mm. cause like it, it just makes it so much more noticeable because like we're humans, we look towards eyes as like one of the first things we go to. Um, so Ooh. I think these oh, guys, these guys are fantastic. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I really, I really like how all of these guys have come up. The skin texture had come up spot on chef's kiss so it's like, I love the warts on the big bloke yeah yeah no I, I think he's used a contrast but he's like used it thin down I'm not sure though and or it might be one of those quick shade ones I do love the choice of vibrant green to contrast with everything else for the leaves mm, mm, mm. leaves or feathers or whatever that I be. think the feathers but I'm I like the contrast of the purple lips there because that looks pretty good on those models. But I do think that what you could do when it comes to these guys is you could probably, you could probably try some different colours with the feathers. Yeah, it's a bit bright. Well, no, 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 it's no the not. brightness works for it. I think the brightness is fine, right? But I think, for example, um, with this guy, I think it matches them a bit too much, but. If you have um, different colored ones in there, sort of very Mardi Gras vibe, I think that would um, give you that pop of color that you would really want for these guys. But then again, he might be doing this to sort of mark them as positionals. Mm. You know, that's something that we've got to consider as well. Because it seems like these guys are blue and then we got greens and then we got a dark green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and that's what I was talking about before when I was saying we've got to match our critique to the, the people who are actually making the stuff. And so let's take a look. Blues. And then, yeah, so these guys are green with the armor. I think they've all got green armor. Those guys are all... Just no feathers. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so, all right. I very much like the reds. The reds have come up well. I think that the the feathers could use with a highlight to make them just pop. pop. Um, I think that I really like these guys the most. Um, but other than that, you know, like I, I don't have a lot to add. All right, so we'll start off with you, Mark. What do you reckon? Uh, overall, very, very good, good painting. Um, just, um, yeah, as Henry was saying, the feathers, just a bit of shading on those to bring out the colour a bit more and they'd be looking perfect. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so, uh, kind of, what, what do you reckon? 
I like the similarities on some of the models, like how a lot of them have purple lips despite having different shades. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I like when you can see where they share the common characteristics. Yep, yeah, so here they've all got the, the purple lips, except for the big guy who's yeah. got grey lips. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. so like you go, these guys are all, um, these guys are all that one thing. Yes. Yeah, no, no, that makes sense. All right, so... And I know, and I know, Stephen's very creative with his naming. I'd love to know what they're named as well. <laughs> All right, but uh, as to what can be improved, I think a bit of highlighting, cleaning up the eyes. What do you think? Because you, you're the one who's always wanting to be asked what what they think. I don't know. All right, I guess we'll move on then. Well, I think the feathers as using as a group color is good mm -hmm. do like the green i think he's user used a good choice of contrasting colors for them yeah they yeah. really do look very superhero looking style I, I i think they have a very comic like look to them he's got a good contrast between saturated colors and desaturated colors especially like the red red is a very bright color but he's done a very nice job of using like a nice muted red for the skin and then he's used like a nice and vibrant blue for the feathers i thought that was nice Mm -hmm. And I know he's going for jade armor. Yeah, yeah. So I... I, I think that the jade armor hasn't come off as much because I think until it hits that... Until it gets that gloss. And I think jade's got a certain level of marbling. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, we got to go off what the people are saying and wanting. So next up, we've Ooh. got James Flanagan. And, He's doing uh, some Star Wars. Yeah, him and his him and his wife. So you want to uh, read Carla out? Carla Bottle and I got a little painting in yesterday when I wasn't drinking beers. It's hey. something I made with some awesome Irish food. You know, Mark, that they can't see you when you lift up the beer. <laughs> <laughs> You're like sunny like that. <laughs> well, the tiny planes are coming along. I, I think that, are they finished? Yeah, they're Star Wars. So, unfortunately, they're very small. They're yeah. very, very small. Well, so, you can't do too much at a scale that tiny. See, look. You just go white, pew, pew, pew. I feel the force. Yes. Yes. I feel the force. I, I mean, look. He, I feel he's the Schwartz. <laughs> it's the Schwartz. Yeah, my Schwartz is on tangles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I reckon, like, you know, to get in on that level of detail on that size, I think you got... Like, that's really good. Yes. But I, I think it's got good details for the size of the models. So, the size of the models is teeny tiny. But, I mean, Sonny was very impressed with... The, there's there's what Mark's impressed with. The, 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 the beer, beer glass for comparison. Oh, I think he actually painted it at the pub. I was just going to say, it, it doesn't look like a recreational area that he's painting. Yeah, he's, he's just... I'm, I'm, I'm doing my painting. Very okay. interesting choice. And there's, there's the people around him. This, sir, is a, 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 a fine dining. Okay. You can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this I, I found really impressive. And this is, um, one of the things, oh, that's, there we go. Um, that's the thing that Sunny brought up. Mm. Very nice. It's I don't remember what it's some okay the the video as I watched is called making a spiritual stone. Mm. So it's making these mandala style designs, right? With just a dotting tool, and then they they just uh, make this uh, perfect dotted artwork. I thought it was very mm. beautiful. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Looks similar to some Aboriginal styles. Of oh, it does. Well. it does. It does. It does a little great bit of color. Ah. Mm. Uh, Great fantastic, color. Fantastic use of color. So, um, as for... Okay, we'll go through... I'm not... See, here's the thing. I don't know what can or can't be improved with this because I don't... I think only just the position of the shapes. The, 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 the swirlier shapes. But other than that, like, perfect dots, in my opinion. Yeah, well, like, I, I, I can't comment one way or the other. You are the only one. We're all of us cavemen men here like... We're war men. Yeah. We want war men to talk war. 
it's it's pretty close to perfect in my opinion just some parts a bit sang it sang it meets uh slanted in malay and we love using that word yes but it's fun to say but uh you know other than that i think it, fantastic job i can't i've never done it before myself so, so i think you're more skilled than me so i i think when it comes to this sort of thing uh, I don't know, guys. What, what do you reckon? It's just too tiny yeah. to... Too tiny to improve. Too uh, tiny. To, to be honest, uh, I, I might not have tried at that size. You don't try anyway. <laughs> don't diss me on public channels, yes. bruh. Yes. Bruh. 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 You're not my bruv. You're not my bruv. You're not my bruv. Ooh. Oh, okay. And so this is what we've been uh, printing off, uh, which is... Uh, Coke can um, design so we can do some more old hammer. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do a, a, a post on one of the 3D printing places and say, does anybody have stuff for bog rolls? That's a bog roll. You, you know, with Art Attack. You know, the, the... That's not what came to mind when you said bog roll. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not going to... It's an Australian term for a toilet paper roll. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. remember, uh, you, you talked about... Art... Now, get... Get your bog paper and just... Now, what does he say about the... I don't know what he says. Just, I want to watch Art Attack again, man. Can you torrent Art Attack for me, bro? You're not allowed to talk about such illegal activities. Oh, this is true. I should not... Uh, shush, shush, shush. No, you didn't see anything. <laughs> All right. So, uh, next up, we've got uh, Stephen Collum, a whip of a dragonborn sorcerer. And I think at the moment... Unfortunately, he's fighting the background. It looks like the blue's coming in well. The gold needs work, and the staff looks very much like these marbles. Yeah, the 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 look. What? All right, fine. It you looks talk. like a dragon's head staff. I don't know yeah. about you guys. It, it needs a background to see the colors yeah. of the top. I, yeah, to, to me, I can't dis- distinguish much between his shoulder pad and the staff. Yeah, and, and like I think if you've got a background, it'll help you. But I it. like the white. I like the white. It's but I think the white is just a start because like fine. there's some colours on it. But we'll we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. I, I always say that I like the. White. Oh yeah, and then and the, this is one of the news ones. Uh, news ones. The news. It was the on news. the news. It was that good. Yes. yes. Uh, so it's um. Uh, hi all. I just wanted to introduce myself and share. A few photos of my jumping Highlanders and my daughter's Kodiaks. Thank you to James Vallanigan for inviting us. Oh, thank you, James. Welcome, Jason. Welcome, Jason. So here's... So I I find the clouds interesting, but I feel like these you should probably go over again with the... with a a black to make it darker. Because, like, I think this has come up well. Maybe some dry brushing, but I like the... I like the Highlanders. They're doing... They're looking nice. I like nice. the wow. Oh, the back looks a lot better than the front. Don't you reckon? Back guys? is amazing. Yeah, like uh, look at that rocket fuel just pouring out of them. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they they're just like f environmentalism. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got the budget for it clearly. Um, and I th- is this the Kodiak? Yeah, I think that's the Kodiak. So I think this one. Oh, look just at getting its murder started. middens there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just murder middens. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you, what do you guys um, think of these ones? I like the bronze and the gold, so I, I would I would just call them bronzes on them. Oops, wrong bronze button. and the brass. Bronze and brass. I especially do like the rocket fuel. Uh huh. And I would say that I like uh, like the bits of red that are not the rocket fuel as well. Um, da, da, da. next one, please. This is the next one. He's, He's only got two pictures of his Highlander. And then, yeah, and then there's his daughter's one, which I think is just like work in progress. I can see, or, or, or maybe like she wants very subtle coloration, but I yeah, don't know. That's fine. I really like, I really like what's coming up with. Uh, the gloves so far. But, but what I love is like the, the difference in background. So you can tell that it's the daughter. So there's like the ghost with headphones. And then it's just like... Outdoors. The, the, the outdoor barbecue area. It's like, this is where men stay. Out here at the barbecue. And then it's like... 
you know, anime music in the background. Mittens with cute stickers. So. Mm. But yeah, it's, so, a, it's an Evangelion with, oh my yeah, with, God, the, with a, the Hello Kitty just it's a, slapped onto its forehead. Do you see it's a Star Trooper helmet that's made entirely of flowers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it, it, well, but, well done. That's a Storm so, um, Storm. All right, so, Ma, um, what he did well, what he can improve? Uh, great use of colour. The only thing I'd improve is the, the back here. Um, is just to bring a bit more of the grey up a bit higher. Okay, okay. Just okay. to have a bit more of a cloud effect at the bottom. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Connor? Uh, t- to be honest, I-, I very much like these models. I-, I just make some of the darker areas just a little bit lighter. Okay, okay. Uh, Sunny? I think the Highlanders themselves are wonderful. Color choice, texture is all spot on and very uh, dirtied up guys, mm-hmm. right? But I would say, uh, I think this one's still a work in progress. Like she, yeah. she could add more color to that. So yeah, for us to yeah, probably yeah. comment on that. Yeah, I, I'd agree uh, with I, all I, of that. I haven't finished talking. Oh, about right. you, you can talk. I won't stop you. The only thing is the, the fire... I think it could be a lot more brighter the fire. Well, I like the I like the black in this area. It is, but I think the it could benefit from a much more highly saturated uh, fire color, more saturated red uh, yellows, and more brighter whites to show the highlights. So it really looks like fire, mm. and like you keep the soot right, but like. It, it should be like really bright because it's it's a whole lot of fire, like rocket, rocket level fire. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, but I would keep the guys exactly the same. But if you make like super bright fire and clouds, it will really contrast nicely with the Highlanders themselves. So, so I think that's correct. Yeah, start bright at the top and then get duller as it gets down. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So I think the the smoke is definitely the feature. I think that up the top they could um, be highlighted but we're going to move on to the next one and I'm going to head off to grab pizzas so a nice group of whites and now I leave it to these gentlemen to educate Sonny on what is a white and we're we're not talking about the uh, we're not allowed to mention certain things so what, what is a white and you don't say me okay you don't see me. He can't contain himself. He's getting ready. Would you like to click along the photos? Oh, yes, so I shall. See. Clicky, 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 my giggy. There it is. I believe whites are members of the undead. They are members of the undead, as far as I ask. Evil what a spectres white from beyond the grave. Oh. Well, for uh, evil spectres that are called whites, they're not very white, are they? No. But I think that could be on purpose. I I would say so. I would wager so. Ooh, I like the skeletal one. Look at him. Look at his bones. What What are your thoughts, Mark? What do you like about these guys? Yeah, the skeleton black looks fantastic. That's a little blurry. Yeah, we'll go back to the clear that, pictures. That's a great photo. Yes. Um, the guy in the middle looks fantastic. In the uh, middle, the, yeah, yeah. The, I do like that guy. Yeah, it's like an elk, elk boy. The elk helmet. The and elk the old, Camino. The old guy standing next to him with the mace. That looks fantastic Oh, yeah, well. yeah. Anything to improve with the aesthetic or anything like that with these guys? I guess just the swords on the middle guy and the guy on the right. There's just a little bit more shading to make them possibly a little bit more shiny. Ah, increase the contrast in the metal is what you're saying. Is mm, that what you're saying? It, yeah. But, yeah. But if okay. it's going... They're very much like the rags <coughs> on them slash the bottom of them with their robes to really distinguish between the models. Mm-hmm. I love the bases as well. They're and really you've nice. done great metallic work. Mm-hmm. Very good metallics. 
Right. Well, I think I would agree with Mark when he says about the metallics could be a bit darker at the darker points. I know that with metallics, Henry has taught me that you, you should mix your darkest metal color with black. No, even if it's super dark, you should always mix it with black. So that it gets it to like really really dark shadows and then you go all the way to like white for the brightest yeah. points mm -hmm. but yeah that's something that you can consider if that's something you want to do cow but if you don't have to i know that you're going for tabletop but if it were me i think a little bit more dry brushing of white so that they look more like the ghosts mm -hmm. that they are meant to be or okay. or whatever but it, it does look very undead like mm -hmm. the you know like a I like Ectoplasm. They kind of have, yeah, the pale ectoplasm on them. Look, the, the green. The green. The green. I yes. believe we can move on to the next. Well, I guess Henry's going to miss out on oh, this one. No. Making his darned pizzas for the night. Okay. What a tragedy. Ah! I mean, look at this one. It, it's it looks, the Nyan. It, it looks... It looks very glowy in the eye region. Well, shall I read what he has to sure. say? Sure, why, why not? The Nyan, it is called. I am calling it done. I have some whips somewhere, which I am actually going to use for Tips Thursday. And have some goblin buddies for his coming up tomorrow. Tell me what you think of it and keep those brushes wet. Alright. So, what are our thoughts? Hmm... I like his teeth, but the eye is definitely the highlight. Yes, the eye is definitely the highlight. As far as Henry has told me, he was going for uh, the eye being a light source. So this light mm. literally being projected from the eye. Yes. What do we think of anything else apart the model? Well, I like the consistency of his skin. Uh-huh. But I also like the uh, that his bones are... Not exactly the colour that I would like bones jutting out of something to be. You're talking he's about a whittle, these? Yes, it's a whittle off-putting, this uh, creature. It's <laughs> a whittle off-putting. Alright, well, I think the eye came out fantastic. What about you, Mark? Yeah, what about you, Mark? Yeah, very, very nice. Great, yeah, great colour for the eye. Uh-huh. Is there any improvements that could be done for this model? A little bit more shading for his claws. For his claws? Mm -hmm. mm. I think perhaps if he's going to go the light all the way up there, I think he could really brighten the highest points of the metal a bit more further. I see. Yeah. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. I know that he's a monster and he doesn't have like the best dental hygiene. But I think just a little bit more highlight on the teeth and nails would be good mm. a little bit more white yeah not white like just uh like whatever their color is the bone color mixed with a little bit of white because yes. it can't be pure a white a little bit more white all right so we have talked about uh henry mm. behind his back yes correct uh, the uh, Let, let's move on before he returns i hope that helps okay good because I, I didn't open oh. it in a new tab if I didn't do that and I clicked back it goes all the way up to the top oh, la, 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 la. hey all it's WIP wetness day Sunny and I are trying to be more on top of things but sometimes there is a little chaos and there are gobberins in the gears ah, ha, 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 ha. what are you painting this week what has tickled your fancy? Please show it off in a post. We want to see. What are you painting now? We've got we got pizzas, everybody. Pizza that you can't eat. Nor see. Nor see, nor well, smell. Why don't you take a picture of it, honey? Fine. I guess. I'll she do doesn't that. want to take pictures of it because it's too beautiful. The, it, the it's, eyes too, of it, it's too much work. We talked about you behind your back, brother. Oh, well, that, that seems atypical. Oh, yeah, okay. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's talking about Henry. Everyone say cheese. Cheese. That's because that's what's on the pizza. Cheese. Cheese and chorizo. Chorizo. I'd, I, I'd watch a show called Cheese and Chorizo. Right. It, it would definitely be about a quirky girl. 
from the 70s. Quick, everyone, comment on Henry's things before he runs away yet again. Um, what, what, what were you saying? The we goblins. The goblins. Oh, what, what about them? We, we, we had not commented on Oh, that. did you comment on yes, this one? Yes, we, we commented did. extensively. What did you say? We, we said it was We criticised everything. Oh, okay. now, now you can move up so that we can continue. Oh. Okay. So it was the ugliest thing you've ever made. <laughs> All right. That's what they said anyway. <laughs> okay, well, I guess Joe Sutton's up. Joe Sutton. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that man's looking a little bit like someone of the chaos variety. I think it might be. It, there's chance. Do you think Thinking it is a chaos, week? honey? And m- maybe five minutes ago. Aetho? Also, I should be painting terrain. Also, oh, I should be painting so? terrain. Uh, maybe, maybe you should also be painting terrain. Mm. But let's take a look at your model first. It's actually come up really well. Mm, I think so too. Oh, look what, at that gold. Yes. What do you think, Mark? Mark, Mark. Yeah, is... very, very nice on the highlights, actually. Mm. I, I like the maroon cake. I very much like its bronze on the metal, but I think the skin is the part that makes me the most interested. Mm. The skin is very good. Very good, very very good. good skin. Although he may need to see a dermatologist. How why you say that? What was that? Because no, there are some bumps on his skin. <coughs> he's, 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 <laughs> he needs to take care of himself a little more. But it is a work in progress, so uh, once we get marks, marks, what? You know, uh, what, what? What? I'm trying to find my team so I can put it up on and let everybody else have a look as well. Oh, oh I was here as I looking at chicks on his phone. Look, chicks on his phone. That's probably what he's doing, and he's using it as an excuse. There's nothing there. He says, show us the proof. It's, it's just it's a bunch of lame videos. I bet it's all these meme videos that you've saved. Um, we do have, uh, we do have pictures of your team if you want to take a look at them. Yeah, that's right. I've got something that you don't have. Oh. Mm. Oh. I've got something that you don't have, Henry. Oh. That's what he's saying. Oh, and then there's an update on the goblins. Mmm! I thought these were very nice goblins. Did you want to criticize me in my presence now? Nope. Would goblins like kill these goblins? No, I think I you'd find them so. too cute. I think you could kill these goblins. I think he would. I think he doesn't care if it is was a nice goblin race or no, just goblins. Get them all. I don't think he's a fan of the green skins. No, I don't think so. I like their zany, wacky, pink ears. All right. Great feedback, everyone. <laughs> Have you noticed I, that I gave you, didn't you some let me feedback, speak? brother. I did. But she, I'm here amongst the the drink thieves and the the drink thieves. Well, um, I don't have my rum and coke. It's whiskey. Whatever it was. Alright, so next up we've got Calvioni. Calvinoni! And Two more Aztec warriors done. Nice. And these guys are all painted in metallics, I think. Yeah, well, that's quite interesting what he's gone Well, for. that may explain why they needed all those human sacrifices to get more <laughs> iron into them. Okay. Well, they're made out of metal. Look at them. Yeah, they do look I think they're meant shiny. to be like painted metal, you oh, know. I understand. I, w- I was trying to do the funny. Trying to do the, the funny. funny. I think you'd like that one, Mark. That one right there. It's a, our version of the Meat Mario. I'm sure he would like Mario. Mario. Yes. Down at the bar that we love, it's called a... But I think, um, I think Cal's done really well. I like it better than any of these other Aztecs that he's done. I like these ones. Very bright, very colourful. A lot of reflection. Nice background, uh, glues. Background glue? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the star of the show. 
But uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Mark? Gravity is a colour. Mm, mm, I agree. One with the blue fern and the other one with the green. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing the second guy with the blue there is going to have the same sort of type of shield as the other guy. Uh, I think it's slightly different, I'm not sure. Mm. But yeah, uh, what about you, Connor? I think they're just fantastic overall, to be honest. I like the shield of the one on the right the most. Uh, the green shield? Yes, because it pops the most. In my I opinion. actually like the, the blue shield um, better because just the, the metals come up very nicely. But yeah, so what can be improved? Uh, I think he's going to do the basing all together. So once I see that, then I'll be able to give a better comment. All right, so next up, we've got Sian Williams. I don't know why I suddenly became Jamaican then. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, okay. We're Wednesday already. Uh, the last one was two days ago, right? A time flies. Random commissar. Heresy. Blame. <laughs> correct. <laughs> um, technically correct. The best kind of correct. Um, well, my whip arm this week is Templar Fire Strike uh, Servo Turret. This, this is why I hate 40k names. It's like, uh, what what is this? It's the the thing in me. One who's a but exclamation uh, zig point. Intent. What's... These guys got a buff and mm -hmm. make perfect backline defenders with hell blasters. <laughs> Which are now heavy and assault profiles. These things would mean things to me if I uh, paid attention. Mm. Yes, well, they're more painters of the game than players of the game. Yeah, what's this? Valhalla and Biz um, Blizzard Technical? Yep, got some. So I can begin um, finishing off these boys. Just need to find the Hellblaster Cannon and build um, in any builds in the 10th. Alright, let's take a look. So I do believe he's just finished these up. So they're in bits and pieces at the moment, but we'll see that all done up soon enough. Yes. So we, we won't comment just uh, yet. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reserve my comment of where are my legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this was just me talking about um, how you could use uh, spray to help you with your OSL and stuff. And then, Yes, yes, what, what's what's this guy's name, honey? Um, Sir Yeetalot. We have Sir Yeetalot. <laughs> I think he is a pimp, sir. Yes, he is a, he is a pimp. Uh, so, did some more work on this guy this evening, despite the heat making the paint dry on my brush. Also, Sangeetha, I've neatened up all the overspillers you pointed out. I just need to be careful. Yeah, oh man, I, I can imagine that this was a nightmare. But like, I was talking to Sunny, and the the thing is, what's hilarious is back in the day, these guys were like serious business. Guys who dress like this would kill you, you know. And like, they dress like that and say, "Tis I, say something about thine clothing, if thine there." Hmm peasant <laughs> then he'd poke out your eye with his very big sword yes and then he'd uh, attack you with that claymore right there yes <laughs> I'm guessing the boots still ain't doing yeah yeah it's, yeah it's a whip but um yes he's I believe he's starting on the uh, innermost the, parts and working out yep. but I think but great, that, use, great use of colour oh yeah fantastic like look yeah, those that is some very clean yellow. Oh yeah, no, I, it just I, I don't I don't I don't want to imagine doing that. That uh, no, that I, seems I'd cry. Yes, but you you cry when you pick up a paintbrush. I do, I do, yeah. every day. Yeah, you're just like, bro, could you help me? And you you pick up a paintbrush just to move it to the to over there, and you're like, <gasps> it brings back this terrible memory. <laughs> does so what, what do you think mark obviously a whip but uh no really good really really good connor 
uh, like I said, very clean yellow. Uh, uh, I very much like, and I'm going to call this what it isn't, the, uh, the the beehive around his neck and his hands there. Oh, what are those called? I've, I know that they've got a, a, a specific name, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. So uh, I, I just oh, I think the only negative I could possibly point out is this man needs an incredibly thicker moustache. I think mm. he, he, he 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 needs twelve. Twirl- yeah, he the twirl- twirling twirl- like moustache. the villain that he is. Mm. Mm. Look at that! Look at that cap, and tell me he is not a villain of some series. But forsooth, thine will get thine ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Sunny. I think it's uh, yeah, you've kneaded it up very nicely. Uh, I would suggest shading, but oh. I'm not sure if you want to do that after doing all that cleanup. But other yeah, than that, no. that's the only thing I'd say. So I like, I like the shading down here, but like doing more on that is just going to be a nightmare. Oh, and then that was me today and I was talking about object source lighting and I'm like, here's some object source lighting and, uh, there's how you, there's how you do it. And, and, uh, here's a, a video and there she's got a pause button through the majority of that video. Let's, let's try again. Um, but yeah, just. Basically, um, instead of zenitholing from the top, zenithole from the light source. And ta-da! That's how things are done. Alright, um, so that, it's Angela, honey! Finally, you know, you've got a, another woman to, so that we stop bullying you. It's not going to work. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise it was my turn to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Mark, what are your thoughts on this piece? I don't think I can get a good look at it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, very nice. Great use of colour. Mm. Mm. The little highlights of the orange there on the back sleeves look really nice. Mm. Mm. I like his undershirt. Wavy hand. Mm. I, I think uh, oh okay it's black so yeah then... yeah keep going I, I very much like the flames and the I guess spirit flames on the ground there and also his very very <coughs> very white eyebrows I think they're meant to be horns uh, they're horns yeah, yeah they're, they're horns, horns but they kind of act as eyebrows look at it you they know at, eyebrows. what I thought they were at first and I think that would be cool is if like there's smoke coming out from his eyes and it's just sort of billowing backwards. I like to go too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what can be improved? Um, I'd say probably some neatness with the highlights. Would you say that? Yeah. I'm looking at Sunny, but she, she doesn't respond to me anymore. Well, I, d- I didn't know. I, I guess I was, as I she's allowed. been too bullied. Um, she's finished stealing my drinks. I like Hmm. Uh, my my the thing I noticed was I think she was going for the blue to orange yellow fire look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would uh, the blue actually is a bit too powder blue for for the real fire. It it actually has almost like a a, a, a ultramarine blue shadow and then it would be that that exact blue that you've used in the middle and then it's like a nice paler blue in the middle and then it fades off into uh, a nice uh, pale yellow color yeah. with orange on the sides uh, but that's that's just what I what I would try out but you don't have to do it but I did comment earlier today that the colors were fantastic. I love the emerald green with that. Yeah, I think everybody agrees that yeah. the colors are that feature. So the thing I look at is the horns could be a bit more bony to identify them as horns because, you know, some people didn't immediately identify them as such. But we'll do a quick read. Photos of small minis are terrible. I wanted to get some shots of a mini I painted up for our friend's D&D yet. Tabletop level. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely totally reach your goal. Definitely reach your goal. Yeah, very serviceable. It's very good. Mm, mm, mm. 
If I was your friend, I would be very happy. Angela is very good painter. She's a good model. Ah, and we've got Calvin Nani with uh, the Congo line of death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's look at some more pictures. All right. So we've got gold boys, mm -hmm. and steel boys, bronze boys, and then unfocus on the spider man. Uh, oh, he's got underwear. Yes, a very beautiful spot. I'm sorry, Cal. This is like, is a piece of paper too much to ask? <laughs> Alright, um. So, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get your guys' opinions. On the Spider Man Cal? Or, or on the models? Because that seems to be your focus. Why not? I, I, I love their shields. They're still amazing. And I also love uh, love the spear tips for most of them. They look very, very vibrant. Mm hmm. And although he is a little out of focus, I do like the gem in one of their hats. Oh. Yeah, great use of colour. Anything that you guys think could be improved? Um, I suppose we probably need to see more stuff on their bases. Because mm. as far as I can I think, see, I just see black. I think they're all going to be based together. Mm. But as a as a key point for focus, I think one thing might be a background. Just going to throw that one out. There. Perhaps, perhaps you're right on that. Yep. But yes, yeah, so um, I think it was quite interesting that he's decided to use like shiny skin for these guys. Mm, mm. Uh, he has he's been using the the dark skin tones this whole time, mm. but this is the first time I've seen him use like sort of shiny skin. So I'm not really sure what concept he's going for there, but uh, it's not bad. It looks I think, cool. I think like the idea that they painted themselves in gold to sort of like. Be like, look, I'm the greatest. Perhaps. But yeah. I uh, think there's a lot of neat precision. The color choices are very nice. I like the feather on whatever that staff thing is. And so, yeah, like he's he's brought out some of the, the, the key features of the models. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's something that he done really well. <clears throat> so the, the only thing I would say, right, is um, I think that that gold thing, that was a really interesting experiment. But I think with the gold thing, you just want to keep their skin to be the gold thing and then use more natural colors. Because then you get the idea. Like, because this almost makes them into like sort of golems when you've got like the steel jacket and that sort of thing. Because that's not very Aztec. But if like they crushed up powders and made themselves look gold, that sort of thing. Like, I can imagine that. But I can't imagine like the sort of steel or gold jacket sort of thing. Right. Um, like because he's been going for a very natural look this whole time. Yeah, and then a sudden shift. But I think like that's cool. I like that shift. But I think you know um, build on that rather than going into more steels. Just try you know for example like these being you know your greens and your browns and your reds and that sort of thing. So that you, you sort of keep that idea that these guys are painting themselves gold. Yeah. All right. So next up, and I think... Oh, it's I'm gonna, the last one. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty surprised that we got through them so quickly. I'm just going to do a quick check and see if this is the actual last one. Because I think... Yes, oh, there's one more. There's one more. He just got, he got posted while we were um, doing it. And I thought that was going to happen. Because I, I had a... Oh, no, no, it, it is still the last one. No, no, it's not. This is the last one. Oh, okay. That's the one we loaded up before. So uh, hit that hit that with the love, yeah. Love it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got Sian Williams. Just in time for the weekend. <laughs> to try and tempt... 
One fire strike servo turret with uh, accelerated auto cannons. Honestly, this sub assembly was difficult for me. Yeah. But the outcome I'm happy with, and the Valhalla Blizzard ba basing has in my eyes made the black pop. And those reds, Chef Kiss, surprising with uh, contrast. Can, uh, surprising what contrast can do. Oh, right, well, let's 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 yes. take a look. Uh, 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 <coughs> oh, you got up. I think that that glowing eyes come up really well from um, CR. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. What do y'all think? Very much like the red. Mm -hmm. I think it's been done very well. And I think there's good shading there. I'm very appreciative of the model being all together now that he has his legs and is sitting in the, <laughs> the... I've done some assembly before and I think doing it sucks, but you get better results. Mm, mm. Um, I think it's paid off for you here. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon, Mark? Yeah, I like the red. The red's a very nice colour. What? Why do you guys like the red? Well, mostly because it makes the rest of the model pop. But I, I do like the platform itself. The bronze sort of yeah. colour. Yeah. yeah. It looks nice. And I like that even like the base of it has some good details put into it. It's not just... Flat uh, snow. Well, it's not an afterthought, is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, anything else to add, Mark? No, I think it's just a great model. Yeah. Um, what about you, Sunny? Well, first of all, I think, yes, everything Mark and Connor said is true. Uh, I would actually try to dirty up the metals a little bit, especially at the the tip of the gun, barrels, yeah. the barrels, to make it look like burn marks because that's where all the heat, heat is built up. That's why I felt like something's a bit missing from here and it's like, uh, you know, it looked a bit too new, brand new and clean. Yeah. So that's what I would say. And unfortunately for the base, he is missing two or well, three elements that uh, Henry always talks yeah, about that so makes I, a good base. I talk, I, I say that every every base needs three elements, right? Um, and I think that it's got two because he's got texture with the snow, right? Yeah. And like you can see that footprint there. Ah, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's well done. I didn't actually notice that. Yeah, yeah, no, because I, I am the, the, the basing guy. Um, but the thing I look at, right, is all of the metal is the same when it comes to this brassy sort of color. So when you're looking at weapons and platforms like this, the, the gun barrels and the ammunition clips are going to be different colored, right? Even if they're sort of brassy and same with the legs. I think like you could keep these gun barrels and the legs as uh, one color, mm. but change either the ammunition clip or you know both of those, or like at least at least one because I think it sort of makes it more samey. I think that the reds come up well. I like the shading you've done here, right? I think that's come up well. I think that you want a bit more highlights on your shoulder pad there. Um, but I think like it's it's very cohesive and I think this is uh, probably the best bit where he's like added all those tiny little details and like see that's one of the things like I think what CN needs is just patience mm. and that's what a lot of painters need like Mark's nodding his head there he's like yes I understand this <laughs> I would think that he could improve the black parts of the metal a bit more because mm -hmm. it seems like he's just done black and then straight away um, edge highlighted with no gradation whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's not 100% clean either. And I can tell that he's not going for just tabletop but considering the amount of effort, effort and de yeah. detail that he's gone into, that is something that I would clean up because you've got some smudging on the, on the edge highlights there as well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, and see, I think, like, Cian is, um, he, he's a lot like that, uh, kind of, do you remember that Macross Plus series where there's that one guy who's, like, improving in everything, and then there's the other guy who, like, improves in massive fits and spurts, like, he's way ahead on one thing and he's ahead on the other? I think that's what Cian's doing. And I think, like, 
CN will take time, you know, um, but I think patience is the key thing that you need. Um, and that's, that's about it. Like, I really like how you've done everything. I think if you added a, a couple of tufts in here and sort of buried them in the snow a bit and then sprinkled some snow over the top of them, that would just, you know, be all you need for the base. I think that the base is mostly good. Or like add some battle debris, just just something other than just snow. I have like the or something. You yeah, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use some uh, gold beads to show uh, oh, show yeah. the the gun clips. We 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 got those, didn't we? Um, I've got I've got them somewhere um, over here somewhere. Don't yeah, I? so little. We could maybe take a picture of that to comment. The gold gold beading casing. It's for necklaces. Yeah, like making uh, little jewelries and such. Oh, okay, sorry. We should probably move. Yeah, on. we sh we, we <laughs> probably should. All right, so as our uh, final one, we have Spectre Studios. Uh, so check that out. Yes. I just realized that I left you guys hanging. Ultramarine <laughs> Dread and Complete, formerly a Dark Angels one, but you can't tell. <laughs> so he originally Zenithal Prime the yeah, guy. Yeah, you see it right here. And then he's done up more work with. Uh, so I think this is completed. And I think this is. Yeah, no, the, the I believe Zenithal. he's a commission painter or, or a competition painter. I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure, but you know, like I'm I'm happy so I'd long as people. I'd say based on the results, I'd say is pretty good. Yeah, but I I'm happy so long as people are doing works in progress, and like if they want to share their their content or like advertise their stuff, I don't mind so long as they share works in progress because like that's the big thing like actually that's one of the things i'll ask you guys so um mark connor you you're more sort of the the guys who don't paint that often when you just saw something like this you know just this end result and you didn't see you know a person working through all of the the steps and that sort of thing right making their way to it did it demoralize you as a painter? No, not really. Mm, no. Just share your thoughts. Yeah, upwards comparison <laughs> cripples some people, <laughs> but not you, Mark. Just no, I, I can like you know. It, I know I understand painting is a skill, and not everyone's got that skill. Mm. So um, some people do it better than others, and I mean that just looks fantastic. It yeah. really does. It's got the colouring right, the shading right. I mean, it almost looks lifelike. It's just fantastic. Would, yeah. Would you say, because you come from a perspective of you're more about painting to get it um, done up for the table, you're painting with the purpose that you're not really thinking too much about, like, oh, it's got to be super fantastic or Correct. anything like that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, that would make sense why you're less affected by that. Mm. But I mean, you can even see his feet, it's good. they're all dusty, the rest of the arm is all nice and shiny. Yeah. It's, you really can't fault anything here, it's just... Well, we'll, we'll see about that, son. We'll see about yeah, that. I, I can't, that's definitely the, one of the best I've seen, so... Mm. This is a very popular style. Um, Connor, do you want to give your thoughts? I think it's very clean and crisp. Yep, yep, very clean and crisp. All right, Sunny? Basing, fantastic. As Henry will now preach to you about the fantasticness of your basing. Yes. Uh, I do think I can see the dusting on the feet. I think it could use a bit more, though. Um, I, I, I personally think it could use a bit more. Because he's a big guy. Big guy means you're stomping way more. Yeah, yeah. And that means more dust cloud. I would, yes. I would really think that his his feet would be very heavily dusted and the dust would fade, fade, not like clumpy, almost up to his knees actually. Yeah, and, so, so I'd, I'd agree with that 100%. And, um, but the detailing of your uh, decal, I think you use decals for these maybe? Yeah, decals. Because it's too, it's too perfect for it to be freehand. Sorry, I hit my knee on the table. But... Yeah, I was just going to say the circular 
Yeah, perfect. Circular work is is fantastic. I really think. Do you think it's a decal then? It is a decal. decal, right? Yeah. So you stuck it on there. Uh, the the blue. It, it's so neat. Everything is so neat and tidy. I think that is the best thing that you have done. So um, I'll I'll give some criticisms. So right here with the decal, see this around here. So he's cut it out, right? But what he wants is he wants some um, decal softener, I think it's called, which will help dissolve and blend this in. Ah. Because at the moment, it, it makes it quite obvious. And see over here, you see that little bump in the ridge. Mm. And this is one of the reasons why I hate decals because, you know, like they're just... They make a really good piece look but, a bit unnatural yeah yeah but see but see like it, it's the sort of dissonance see it works for his style really well because he's like very neat and clean and then you know he's got this here and it and like it matches that sort of style but that little bit right there and so as for this right i think so with some of it i i like how you've done it right but i think in some areas you've got too much and in other areas too little which makes it more obvious so basing yes just 100 percent love it so you've got some nice um uneven ground right you've got some uh barbed wire you've got some shrub you've got some you know rocks all of that's great it's fantastic um but so the only thing i'm gonna so i'm gonna be a bit more more nitpicky with you because I believe you're either trying for character level plus or, you know, like... Showcase. Yeah, depending. Um, but see, like, little mistakes like this where you've got that. Now, like, I think it looks good, especially when you're um, at sort of this level. You won't notice it as much. But it all depends. And, like, if this is a model for a client, like, I'd try and clean that up. But you can't really now. Um... Mr. Hobby's Dissolving Putty, absolutely fantastic for fixing little things like that. Um, I think that... I like the parchment, but I think um, I think maybe having it look more aged mm, would, agree. Look, would look very good against your very sort of bright and uh, sort of parade style miniature. I like the gold. I think, you know, you could highlight that a tiny bit. But for me, the, the big thing would just be like softening that decal, getting rid of that. But the basing, just fantastic. If I was you, now see, like this could be an addition that you do to this miniature quite easily. Get some pigment powder, pure pigment powder from a art store, crush it up, get a makeup brush, put it on the foot, and then brush it upwards, right? And let that powder fly and land where it may. And the reason I say that is because imagine this thing just, you know, and like when it's hitting the ground, right? You've even hinted to it how it's sort of crushing underneath here, right? Like it is, it is absolutely stomping through. Um, and that's, that's the only other slight thing that I would say is that, and like, I'm being very nitpicky here. And the reason I'm being very nitpicky here is because like, that's kind of the level I think you're going for. Now, if, if I'm wrong, you know, feel free to correct me, but right here, he's a bit floating on the terrain. Whereas I feel like he should be more sunken into it. But other than that, this is just an absolutely fantastic piece like those little yellow dots that's the right amount of highlighting the i love the badge the badge this one the fury, the fury yeah, yeah i yeah. saw that too yeah it almost and, looks 3d it's good yeah yeah no it's it's great it's fantastic oh this is actually 3d that is yeah yeah um but yeah i i like all of it and uh, as always, what we usually do is uh, we make our way down. Actually, we'll go back here. Make our way down and we sort of uh, do a sort of wrap up. And so what I want to say is thank you all of us. Uh, sorry, thank you to all of you for joining us. 
and uh, we hope that you have enjoyed our guests. Uh, okay, apparently we're stopping there, uh, at least for that one. Um, but yeah, thank you all of you for joining us. Thank you for participating. And I hope that you find these entertaining and informative. Uh, do you guys have anything to add for our esteemed guests? Thank you for watching. <laughs> He Thanks. says with such enthusiasm. Thanks for allowing me to be here for the night. Of course. Yes. Well, we, 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 we have want, to. It's, we, it's necessary. We <laughs> want more people to, you know, look at these things and tell us and, what's and I, going on. And I think it's also really good when we have people like yourself who aren't experts. And oh, did you post something on here? Not yet, no. Oh, post it. Post it. Let's let's see what. Let. <laughs> all right, we'll we'll end off with Mark posting something. Have you posted it? No, I can't get it. Up. It's all right. It'll take. Oh, you can't get a link. No, I can't get it to go up. Oh, you can't get it to go up. It's some um, technical difficulties. Yeah. All right, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic Waypan weekend. All right, so let's let's see. Let's say it all together, everybody. All right, all right, all right. All right. Three, two, one. Keep, Keep those, those brushes, brushes wet. wet. <laughs> Ooh, bye bye. bye.